I am going to go ahead and replace these lug nuts on my second gen and go ahead and get it started because uh, I've, if you guys don't know about second gen, it's my project truck that I've had since I was like 18 years old, about six years later now. Um, I haven't been able to have it running this past year because the transmission's been down, but yeah, we uh, I broke two of the lug nuts last time that I was trying to trade my wheels with my brother. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix that, um, put some grease on the battery and then go ahead and get some gas for it at the gas station. So let's go ahead and do that. Do got some new ones from Advance, some doormans. She does look clean as fuck. We do got it running, we're back from the gas station. I did get about a half tank of gas. As you guys can see, she runs great. She does have a Flowmaster in it, but um, it has a mean exhaust leak. And as you can see the cuss sticker from Troqueando, I've had it so long that it's already faded. That's like five years ago when I bought it. And um, let me go ahead and show you guys something that I got over here. So if you can see over here, let me find it. Let me find it. So the shocks are a little dirty, but they are new shocks as well. Maybe less than a thousand miles. So. It has a whole front new suspension and rear suspension. I used to have really bad issues with my wheel was like turned like this to go straight. And after um, getting it aligned, after um, putting some previous wheels that I had on here, it, the alignment issue is fixed. That's how my wheel looks outside. And that is how the wheel is in relation to that. So it is pretty straight, like I said. It's a really good base for a second gen build considering that a lot of people second gens i mean i do wish this was a diesel but a lot of gas or second gens are pretty much like down in the dirt nowadays if you try to find them in good condition and they're not really that good she's on her fourth transmission yeah you heard that right fourth 46 re you, you guys know how it's just this transmission is just as bad as the 40 uh 4l60 um i do have i do need to work on getting that um in the works to be able to get that fixed but uh, i do have in the rear, in the truck, I do have a lot of parts in here. And some of the parts included in here, I do have um, new transmission lines, steel brake lines for the entire truck. I have a bunch of stuff for the truck. As you can see, I've done little stuff, like even stuff like the new fender liners. I've done stuff like that. So as you can see, she has a lot of little stuff. She's been sitting, but she also does have new calipers, but they have a little bit of corrosion on them from sitting so long. Cause I did do all this stuff and then she decided to break down on me. Hey babe. Vamos a tener que las trocas, baby. What's going on? <laughs> hey, let's go buy some cables for nine bucks. Huh? Let's go buy some cables for nine bucks. We're at Harbor Freight. All right, bro. Let's get some cables. We finna run to the store to get some cables. He does have a 24-inch drop star that we are gonna t not test fit, but we're just gonna go ahead and drop it back here to see what it would look like. This is Mr. Glock 19's project build that he got going on. It is a '99 Chevy with the 4.8. It does have a 2.4 drop kit. I'm pretty sure these are LTC wheels. Hey! All we needed was some good cables. You can see she has a good engine too, man. That shit turned on like quick with some good cables. Hey, I told you all we needed was some good cables, bro. <laughs> Damn. That boy been hitting the gym. He carrying that 24 by himself. Oh yeah, bro, you need to get those on there soon. We weren't able to get it started. I think it's alternator problem, so we'll be replacing that soon. But yeah, as you can see, this is possibly the wheel setup that it's gonna end up with. Uh, these are some 24 by 11 drop stars. Pretty sure he's gonna be going staggered 24 by 11 in the rear, 24 by nine in the front. So yeah, that's gonna give this a really good look. Like I said, we will be bringing you guys videos with both of the trucks from now on. Uh, let us know little ideas, little small mods, because uh, we are kind of on a budget right now. We do have other priorities. These trucks are our priorities. So let us know small stuff that we can do, you know, just to overall improve the truck. I do have a lot of parts for my second gen. I have a uh, new transmission line, steel brake lines, a brake booster, uh, a master cylinder. I have a lot of stuff of that nature that just needs to get put in there. Little stuff that I was fixing. I was actually really working on this truck before the transmission blew. That's kind of what took my motivation. So yeah, but we are back at it. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and peace.